This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Amy Tibbin with me again. You're the Outreach Coordinator at the Beth Donovan Hospice in Kempel. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me on again, Kathy. It's always nice to chat with you. Now, your physical space is in Kempel in the North Grenville area, but you, care, you, you, you have such a uh, catchment area. You help so many people. Maybe you, you can tell people whereabouts you support people too. Yeah, absolutely. We have a large catchment um, and our main building is just outside Campville on French Settlement Road. Um, but we serve people, you know, in North Gore um, and uh, Manitic area. Um, we also go over to Merrickville. We actually just catch a little bit of Smith Falls and then all the way down, you know, Jasper, North Augusta, Spencerville. Um, all of these um, communities are a part of our catchment area. All right, and because you're such a big area too, you, you've, you've sort of expanded your day hospice. Uh, you're, you're going different places to teach people about it and what's available. Exactly, yeah, that's the idea with this program. We decided um, every three, four months to take our day hospice program on the road. Um, and this benefits us in a couple ways. Our clients get to um, go somewhere new and experience something different. Sometimes it's just nice to to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. So we take them to a new place. Um, and it also shows those communities that we visit that we do serve them. And it gives them an opportunity to come visit us within their community and learn about our programs. Um, and they can kind of get a feel for if our day hospice program would be the right fit for them or for a loved one. Um, and just sort of experience the whole thing. And then they can also ask questions about volunteering um, and the other programs that we offer. So if I'm understanding this, some of the people that go to the day hospice program on French Settlement Road are going on the road. <laughs> They're going on the road. We take the show on the road, exactly. So our clients will come with us for the day um, to Merrickville and we'll have a whole day of programming. So um, we've been really lucky in that uh, the Merrickville Legion has partnered with us and given us the space for the day. So we'll be nice and cozy and comfortable in the building there. Um, they're just on uh, Main Street in Merrickville there. Um, and um, Katie Westreet from Ahisma Naturopathic will come and she's going to teach some chair yoga in the morning. Um, and then Rideau Community Health Services. Um, they're sending in their meditation teacher to do a little bit of meditation with the clients and with the public as well, because the public's in invited to join in in all of our activities. Um, and then in the afternoon, we've got some live music planned. Um, a local band, 33 and a Third, um, will play in the afternoon from 1 till 2. And so, of course, the public is invited to come in and spend the day with the volunteers and with the clients and the staff. They can ask questions. They can participate in the activities. Um, and just meet some of the people um, and hopefully gain an, a better understanding of, of what we do and, and why we matter. And who better to talk to? Exactly, yes, yeah. yeah. And, you, and you see it all in action and it just gives you a good, um, a good idea of the feeling, the energy. That's yeah. it. And the last time we spoke, I believe you were talking about doing just some pop-up information sessions, uh, I believe at the North Grenville Library and at the Merrickville Library as well. Yes, we're calling those our satellite office hours, which is um, a really wonderful idea that I borrowed from another local hospice. Um, and uh, yeah, we're heading out. Um, we're always um, at the beginning of the month, we're either in Merrickville or the Kempville Library. Um, oh, goodness, my memory is failing me. I think we're Tuesdays, we're in the Merrickville Library and Thursdays, we're at the Kempville Library in the afternoons. Um, and again, that's the way that the reason why we're doing that is to give people um, an opportunity to come and talk to us without having to come into the hospice itself. Of course, we open our doors and, and people are welcome to drop by the hospice at any time. But that that first initial um, contact, sometimes people are intimidated to come to the hospice itself. You know, they're not they're not sure how involved they want to be. They're not sure if it's the right fit. Whereas um, stopping by the library, it's a public open space um, and they can ask questions and just pick up a pamphlet or a business card or just get a little bit more information about us. Yeah, and it, yeah it's, it's more, much more than a pop-up, like I said. It, you, it's a, your satellite offices now too. So, and I mean, it's great information yeah. if people want to learn about the hospice, but also if, they want to, if they're considering being a volunteer. 
That's right. Yeah. Or donating, right? So sometimes people want to talk to somebody about how to do that. And there are many different ways to donate and to support hospice. Um, And we also have many different volunteer opportunities. You know, a lot of people, you know, they're not sure if they're comfortable sitting at the bedside of someone at end of life. So they may not be interested in in in-home visiting, but we are actually always looking for volunteers with special talents or abilities. We, We like to have musical entertainers come in. Um, to our day hospice program. Uh, We love um, artisans, crafters, um, artists to come and teach us their skills, either to our clients or to run workshops in support of hospice. Um, Yeah, so we're always, and you know, we have all kinds of committees and um, there's gardening to be done and we're always looking for people to bake for us. So there's lots of different opportunities. Excellent, excellent. And so in terms of donations too, we're going to talk about a fundraiser and it's called the Taste for Hospice. Can you tell everybody about that? Yeah, we're so excited to have the Taste for Hospice back. This is an annual fundraising event for us, but of course it's been on hold for the past three years. Um, And this is our triumphant return. We're really looking forward to getting back to this one. It's a lot of fun. Um, It's a great evening out. We um, sell tickets, uh, $35 for adults and 20 for children. Um, And what happens is you you come to the event that night. It's held at North Grenville um, High School in Kempville. Um, And uh, it opens at six and you come in and there'll be different food vendors, restaurants, wineries and breweries. And uh, you, you get to sample a little taste, a sweet or a savory, a sip of wine or a sip of beer um, from each of the vendors on site. And then we'll have live music as well um, and lots of opportunity to visit and uh, be with your friends and family if they're coming to the event with you. Um, and then at the end of the evening, we, uh, we award the best sip or the best taste. So it's a bit of a competition too. Oh, that, it sounds like a great time. It sounds like a great time. And it's a wonderful opportunity for our local restaurants and wineries and breweries as well, too. If you've ever wondered, you know, I've never gone there before, but maybe I'll, you know, you can go to this and it's almost an hors d'oeuvres night. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it, that's exactly the feel. And you get to try a little bit of everything. So, And you might discover your new favorite restaurant or your new favorite beer or your new favorite wine Um, and the idea is that they're all local and there's no other event like this in the area so it's a really great opportunity to get to know your local businesses your local food vendors um, and and find something new that you really enjoy um, while supporting all of these little local businesses and supporting hospice which is so great um, so uh, we're almost sold out. Uh, there's, if you want tickets to, to this event, you better go online to our website and purchase your tickets soon. There's not too, too many left. Um, and we do still have a few spaces left for food um, and drink vendors. So if there is a local brewery, winery, restaurant out there, and uh, you want to get your, your product in front of, um, you know, this, this community, uh, get in touch with us and we'll find you a spot. And I mean, just some examples. We got salamanders there. Green Gables is going to be there. Brood Awakenings are going to be there. That's right. Uh, Simply Baked, um, Smoky Ridge Vineyards. Yeah, so there's lots of great restaurants um, and drink vendors uh, that will be there. And the really great thing, too, is um, a lot of these um, food vendors and um, wine and breweries, they can bring their product. Um, so whether or not they're selling barbecue sauce or, uh, you know, they have their beer there to sample, they can also bring beer to sell. Um, so you can, if you sample a beer that you really like and you want to take home, you can, you can purchase from the vendors that night and bring it home with you. So Excellent. it's a great opportunity for these businesses. And the date that one is April 29th. That's right. April 29th tickets are available on the website at bethdonovanhospice.ca. And you're $35 you're, for adults, 20 for children, and live you, music. You still have a few left. Yeah, we still have a few tickets left um, and we still have a few vendor spots left. I'm really finding this but year, 2023. Yes, 2023, uh, things are opening up and people, not so much, you know, we opened up a little bit last year because of COVID. This year, I think people are feeling more comfortable and they're excited about getting out. Exactly, exactly. And and what a better time to support our local businesses, right? 
That's right. Yeah, you're supporting the hospice and you're supporting our local businesses as well. What a great event. A partnership. Yeah. <laughs> A partnership. That's <laughs> Super right. fun. <laughs> That's right. So uh, for more information about the hospice in general, how do they get a hold of you, Amy? Yeah, so they can go to our website. All of our programs and services are listed there at bethdonovanhospice.ca. They can also give us a call at 613-258-9611. All right. And I mean, some of the, the things you're doing there too, support and share group, uh, you've got that going from March to August. That's the second Wednesday of every month. Yeah, on the second uh, Wednesday of every month, um, we have a peer support group for those who are grieving. And the current group that's meeting, um, this is for a continued uh, grief or a continued loss. Um, and then we also have all kinds of other supports too. So maybe somebody wants some one-on-one -on -one counseling and they can reach out to us if that's what they're looking for. We also offer meditation, guided journaling. There's really all kinds of supports. Yeah, lots of supports available at, uh, at the Beth Donovan Hospice. Well, I thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, maybe next time we'll get you back in the studio. <laughs> I think that's a really great plan. <laughs> I think so. That'd be great. I'll that'd see you in person. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, I hope that's <laughs> going to be real soon, too. So once again, we've got Amy Tibbon, our outreach coordinator with the Beth Donovan Hospice. Thank you very much for joining us and telling us about our hospice.